Olivia Courtney in the WUFT Newsroom. For Wednesday, October 7th, here's your News in 90. The already busy University Avenue just got busier and louder. The standard at Gainesville, a 10-story retail center and apartment complex, is being built at the corner of University Avenue and 13th Street. Those who live in the nearby area are excited about the project, but some say they will not be re-signing their leases due to the construction noise. Those who stay will have to put up with the construction noise until completion in November 2017. A local college professor is behind bars in Polk County after being accused of trying to kill her disabled husband yesterday. Cherry Olds is accused of holding a pillow over her husband's face not once, but twice. The man has multiple sclerosis and told Polk County officers his wife has been mentally torturing him for months and even told him to commit suicide. Olds is charged with attempted second-degree murder and abuse of a disabled adult. A Georgia mom is facing murder charges for allegedly drowning her two daughters. According to police, the 26-year-old mother called 911 yesterday afternoon saying she drowned her 8-month-old and 18-month-old children at her Savannah home. The mother now faces two counts of murder. Doctors Without Borders is calling for an independent investigation into the deadly bombing of a hospital in Afghanistan. The aid organization wants the International Humanitarian Fact-Finding Commission to investigate and determine whether the strike was a war crime. They say they do not believe that investigations run by the U.S. will be reliable. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.